Hello, my name is Federica and welcome to my YouTube channel where I share my healing journey. Take some time to myself and refocus cause I'm like a lotus and I'm about to bloom so the baby give me room. Okay, y'all, so I know I've been kind of missing the action, and I have had several people ask me, when you gonna start back vlogging? When you gonna start back vlogging? And honestly, I couldn't really give a straight answer, but I knew that I would start at some point. So, this is a mini, teeny, tiny comeback, but I'm not quite fully back yet, but in due time, I will be. So, let's get into today's topic. When I first started my YouTube channel, I went back and forth with myself. And sometimes I would just get so overwhelmed and frustrated to the point where I would just put everything down and be at a halt and not do anything. Well, that caused me to spend days, maybe even weeks, sometimes even months doing nothing about the things that I feel in my heart that God wanted me to talk about. That brings me to today's topic where I will be sharing three things that I personally feel like kept me from pursuing my calling. So initially, I created this long list of things, but I realized the one thing that all these things had in common was that they were just excuses. I could not honestly say that these things actually held me back see sometimes we say oh this thing is the thing that's keeping me from this or this thing when actually is just an excuse and i must say that i have a lot of them i've had a lot of excuses to where i actually put those excuses before the things that I should be doing valid a valid reason why I feel like I have not moved forward with some things that God put on my heart is that I'm investing my time in the wrong things so I God maybe wanted me to save my money for a particular thing I may be thinking about my own personal interest and like I'm gonna save this money for something that I want to do versus something that God wants me to do with it. Or I know in previous seasons, I have invested my time in relationships when it was clear that God really wanted me to work on myself. So I feel like investing your time in the wrong things at the wrong time can definitely affect you and keep you from pursuing your call. And that actually leads me to my third reason why I personally feel I have been at a standstill or have been in a standstill in the past is that I've been disconnected from God. In order for us to know what's next, in order to know what God wants us to do, in order for us to just know when to stay still <laughs> is to stay connected to the source. And I actually have a scripture to support that. So I'm reading from the New International Version. John 15, 4. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Okay, so in other words, once that fruit is off that vine, or if that branch is not connected to something that is necessarily the source that's providing that fruit with the things needed to grow it's not gonna grow so once you pick a fruit from a tree it's not gonna grow anymore it cannot sustain but it starts the rotting process honestly and if i must be transparent whenever i'm not connected to god i'm simply rotting away so just understanding that i have to change the trajectory and this time of my life i'm still battling with things that my flesh want and I'm still battling with inconsistency but just understanding that God remains the same and 
why everything else around me is changing, while people are changing, God isn't. God is the same he was yesterday, he's the same today, and he will be the same tomorrow. And understanding that he gives me grace and mercy that I can't earn it. I... <laughs> I can't earn it, and I know I have it, if I could. But just understanding that keeps me in a place of, okay, we didn't quite do what we were supposed to do today, but how could we do better tomorrow? And I just want this message to get to someone who may be in a place where they feel like, they have been stalling, um, making excuses, or where they just feel stuck. And God is telling you to start the day. So, I hope that they inspire somebody today. I hope they bless someone today. And I hope that whoever is listening to these, start now. Not because I said so, but because something in you is telling you to start today. So, I just want to thank you all for the support thus far. And if you are subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Comment. I love the dialogue. I love conversing. And I love when you all share things that you're doing. And because... And we're all on a journey. We're all learning and it's best for us to share with each other in this time. In those moments we feel, I would say weak. In those moments we feel challenged. And thank you for watching my YouTube channel.